Good morning, everybody. Um, pardon me for not recording with my tripod. I hope you can hear this okay. I'm going to try to talk loud enough. Um, <clears throat> I am on a little uh, get my mind right trip and out of town, away from work, um, because things have been crazy. Just crazy. I lost four team members um, from my team down to three. Um, permanent members. Um, one more, actually two more um, contractors and they're probably going to be leaving. Um, when I say that I've been stressed I've been stressed. I'm kind of the team, team, unofficial team lead. And, um, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. So, to say that I haven't been on track with a lot of things, um, is kind of an understatement of the year. Um, I've tried to get back on track numerous times and, when I say get back on track, I mean taking care of my health from my fibromyalgia, doing my stretches, doing my physical therapy, um, watching what I eat, drinking all the water, doing the physical movement, all those things like I have not been consistent with. And it bothers me. It bothers my anxiety um, because I'm not taking care of myself. First and foremost, to the, the way to handle my anxiety is to have self-care be a major piece of the puzzle of my daily life. And when I'm not doing that, I can't, I am, I can't control my anxiety. And then when you throw in the events of the world as an empath it's even harder to to take those things in and um, I get stuck on the spiral and while I'll never forget and don't ever want to forget anything that has happened, I have to prioritize my health. Um, it is no secret that I have gained all the weight back that I lost during my vertical sleeve journey. And um, most of that came on during COVID. I've been pretty steady since then. Um, but I, I want to lose that weight again. Um, not from a vanity standpoint, but from a health standpoint. Um, my diabetes is back. Um, and my anxiety is out the roof. Um. And I just don't feel good. I just don't feel good. Um, my son said to me the other day, I kind of been wondering, There's been, at night, there's been this loud knocking noise that wakes me up. And I didn't know what it was. Come to find out, it's my son. And he purposely hits the wall to wake me up at night when I'm snoring. So basically my sleep apnea is out of control. Um, I haven't been using my CPAP. I just kind of have this mental block against it and I need to get back to using it. Um, and I told my son that I would get back to using it. Um, and so I'm going to do that. But it's a matter of I have to want to. I have to want to take care of myself. 
There's a part of me that does, but it's not all of me. And so I'm, I'm spending this time away um, working on that. I got some clothes that fit my now body um, because I'm tired of wearing just stretchy pants um, because nothing else fits. Um, and I, I just want to feel normal um, and have the ability to wear other, other clothes. And so I had to have things that fit because I had gotten rid of all of my bigger clothes. So anyway, um, so I've done some shopping, um, done a lot of thinking and about what I need to do and what's, what's stopping me from doing the things that I need to do. And I think that's the key is what's stopping me from going forward and there's a couple different things so when I hang out with friends I I want to just be part of the the gang I don't want to be different and I think that is a big part of why I struggle because a lot of those events revolve around food and so I don't want them to have to make different food and those kinds of things. So I'm trying to figure out how to handle those social, social situations because I am not the type of body that can eat just anything and lose weight, even if it's in moderation. It just doesn't work that way for my body. My body does not process things. Um, it has food sensitivities. And, um, and I have to, uh, I need to honor myself and what those sensitivities are. Um, those sensitivities are sugar, carbs, grains, it's basically about it. And I need to get back to low carb. I need to get back to low carb and I need to stay there for a very long time. Know this, it's okay to go off. No, I need to be strict about it. Um, that's the only thing that's gonna control my diabetes because I do not want to take the metformin. The metformin just makes me sit in the bathroom all day. And that's no way to live either. Um, so anyway, so the first thing I'm going to do is go back to low carb. Um, starting on Monday. No, starting on Sunday this week. So today is Thursday. So I'm starting on Sunday. Um, I have a graduation party, so it's my last social event um, of the week. And then I won't have any social events for quite a while. Um, so I wanna get back into the swing of things. My Friday night game nights, I'm going to switch those up. I'm going to, um, typically we eat supper together Instead of eating supper together, I'm going to eat supper before I go. Um, then that way I don't have to worry about the food. Um, and just go later and still have game night. I think that's a reasonable um, modification to my temptations. Um, I'm probably going to be leaning more towards carnivore for a while just to get the carbs out of my system. Um, I got to get this inflammation down. My back has been 
hurting a lot. And I've noticed that these two days walking around um, shopping and things like that, like my lower back is just a, a mess and I know that it's inflammation um, causing it and the more grains that I eat the worse it gets so going to really tackle that um, so carnivore keto if it's if I go keto it's yeah I I want to um, be true to myself and really give it a solid try like I've done before. Um, give it eight weeks with no cheats. I'm going to try, I got some meal, uh, meal plan sheets. I'm going to do some meal planning, um, and get that back, back on the saddle. Um, I've already been doing the bike, um, three times a week. I would like to get that up to five times a week. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I think the food aspect is more important than the movement right now. Um, but I do want to get that up to five times a week. Um, so that's a a long-term goal so we'll we'll see I do know working out three times a week has been great for my hips um, and movement in general so I do appreciate that movement I think that movement will be good to have um, in my life going forward um, thank you Peloton <laughs> um, for having scenic rides because those scenic rides are what's saving me um, I don't do the, the hardcore exercising rides right now, um, because I just want to get into the habit of riding the bike. The habit, the habit is the most important piece. Everything else will come later. Um, my stretching I need to do my stretching every morning. Um, that's going to start as well. Actually, that started this morning because um, I was just feeling my back is just a mess, like I said. And so I decided to do, incorporate the stretching. So I'm going to go ahead and start that now. Um, no reason to wait. It only takes five minutes to do the stretching routine from Mayo. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to um, start to incorporate the physical therapy exercises again, um, start from ground up um, and s see how they go. Um, we did them five days a week. So I think um, I want to do them five days a week. Um, it takes probably a half hour to do them so I'm going to um, incorporate that in. Uh, that will be an after work activity, an after work. So I'll do the physical therapy and then I will go ride the bike. That's the plan. And then when I get home, of course I'll eat my planned meal. Um, I am going to set up and clean up my um, CPAP machine and get that going. I'm going to go ahead and get that going. Um, I don't know if I'll get that going tonight or if it'll be tomorrow night because um, I have to clean the area around it. Um, but I will be starting my CPAP um, even if it's for partial nights um, sleep. Um, I need, I need to incorporate that back into my life. I will feel better. I will be, have more energy during the day. I won't be falling asleep during the day. Um, I won't be wanting to take a nap during the day. Um, 
Yeah. CPAP is a must. So, yeah, that's that's the gist of my and water. Oh my goodness, I need to drink so much water. Um, and I'm going to start incorporating that in more. I got to get um, another ice tray um, because I think that's been holding me back from drinking um, water is that I don't have enough ice at home because I don't have an ice maker. So um, get another ice tray and um, drink my water. Drink my water, so important. Um, the, there's a couple other things I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start taking care of my skin a little bit better. Um, my skin has been so dry and scaly and um, like sheddy. And so I'm, I'm going to um, work on taking care of it better. You know, you just, these, these are little things. These are things that I should be doing every day that I haven't been. And, um, it seems like a lot, but it really isn't. It's just small things at different times of the day. And, um, I have plenty of time because I'm going to tell you why I know that I have plenty of time because I spend lots of time scrolling Instagram or scrolling Facebook or, or watching a YouTube video. Those YouTube videos, I can be watching those while I'm doing the Peloton. So there is no reason why I should be sitting at home watching a YouTube video doing nothing else. Um, so if I have time to be doing those things, then I have time to be taking care of myself. Am I being a little bit hard on myself? I, I am because I'm disappointed in myself. And if you're disappointed in yourself, then you have to figure out what you have to do to do things differently. And um, that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. And I haven't made this kind of confessions video. Um, and the hard honest truth here on YouTube about things, but here it is. Um, I'm going to try to make videos to track my progress, um, to talk about how things are going. I don't know how often they will be. Um, I'd like to say once a week, but we know me in videos. I think I said that before. Um, I, I want to, to do once a week updates, um, but it's not really something that just taking care of your health. It's not really something that y you can just make a video about. I guess you can, I guess that I can't is something I need to get over as well. I can do that. Um because I think I'll start to see things different. Um, the bags under my eyes, the changes in my skin. Um, eventually over time, hopefully the puffiness of my face um, and those kinds of things will start to slim down. Um, so here goes. I hope, I hope you will support me in this journey. Um, I appreciate those that have watched this. I appreciate those that have supported me, even though I haven't been doing the best at taking care of myself. Um, and I appreciate those that have just listened to this kind of talking video. I don't know. I've kind of gone over time, the time limit that I set my for myself for this, because you guys get bored watching. Um, but, I'm going to go forth and conquer. I'm going to take care of myself and put that first and let everything else um, fall by the wayside at this, this time and really dig in to taking care of myself. 
because everybody deserves to take care of themselves and have that be a priority in their life. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. So thank you. I appreciate you. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.